And what I do is I look at how people behave and act, and you make your judgment on that. If someone's a psychopath and they're running a government, I'm going to call them out. If they're Jewish, I'm going to call them out. If they're Muslim, I'm going to call them out. If they're Christian, I'm going to call them out. And if they are a decent uh, a person who believes in freedom and believes in uh, justice and fairness for all equally, then if they're Jewish or they're Muslim or they're Christian or whatever, I'm going to say, good on you, mate. I'm with you. And let me sum, it, sum up my philosophy um, like this, or sum up my the way I look at reality and people. Show me any group doesn't matter what it is, any religious group, any cultural group, any political group, any group of any kind anywhere. And within those groups, I'll show you psychopaths. I'll show you all right people who are not psychopaths. And I'll show you lovely, nice people. And whether that group is Jewish or Muslim or Christian or Hindu or any of them, that will be the same. Are we saying that no Jewish people can be psychopaths. Are we saying that? Are you insane? Are we saying that no Muslim can have psychopaths? No Hindu, no Christian? Of course, the spectrum of the group is the spectrum of human perception and human behavior. But this is the point. If you mention someone who is Jewish, and, and tell me what was really hilarious in this um, stuff from the immigration department in the Netherlands is they said you are reported to say that a partly Jewish group is running the world well so how am I an anti-semite then if even by your criteria I'm saying partly Jewish so I must be saying other things I must be saying um Christians and Muslims see Saudi Arabia and that government um as well so what I'm doing is I'm calling out different elements of this cult that are expressed in every culture and every religious group. But you mention someone who's Jewish, like George Soros, for instance, and immediately you're not calling out George Soros. You're saying the whole of the Jewish people are involved in this conspiracy. No, no. I'm saying George Soros is. And, and this is how it works. It's a dangerously effective tool. It's, it's immensely effective. And I'll tell you one of the, the interesting things, because it's all psychological. If you're a few and you want to control billions of people, you have to do it psychologically, because there's not enough of you actually to do it physically. So, why do they go for Holocaust denial? Because as I was saying, I talked about my philosophy there on life, which is we're all one. We don't care what your bloody label is. But I'm also... Um, for the last 33 years nearly now, been warning that where the world is going is a global version of Nazi Germany. I mean, irony or what? I'm the one warning, with many others around the world now, that the way the world is going is to be a global version of Nazi Germany. And the people who are acting like Nazis, who want to silence anyone they don't agree with, are calling me a Nazi, because we're anti-fascist. When I've been saying for 33 years nearly, this world is going 